Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning back in. I am so grateful for your support, for your time, and just for like life in general. But in today's video, we are going to talk about chichis, tetas, boobies, boobs, whatever you want to call them. I'm going to talk about breastfeeding. Now, before I get into it, I am not a professional. I am not a lactose consultant, but I do want to talk about my breastfeeding journey. And I think it's important because when I was pregnant, I was constantly searching on YouTube breastfeeding tips, what to do with breastfeeding. And honestly, I became overwhelmed because the women that I would run into or who I would talk to seemed like they had everything under control. There were some girls I would talk to and they give me all this information and I was just like, oh my gosh, like I didn't know any of that. Or some mom told me study, like you need to study beforehand. And I became overwhelmed. Just overwhelmed with this whole breastfeeding thing. So I am making this video for the moms who are more laid back, who are more chill, who go with the flow, and just like roll with punches. I am that mom and I know I'm not the only mom out there that is like that. So I'm just gonna start with my breastfeeding journey. I'm gonna give you guys some tips. Look who joined me. She was hungry, so Jewel brought her. And now she's in the video. Okay, so as I was saying, I'm just gonna go through my journey and what worked for me and the tips that I took and what I tried out. I do want to point out that I am not against a woman who used formula or who can't breastfeed, who didn't try to breastfeed. As long as the baby is fed, that is the best way to go. Now that I got that out the way, let's go with my story. So I was about seven to eight months pregnant. I started to become very curious and very concerned um, and I had my appointment coming up so when I talked to my OBGYN I asked her hey what are some best ways to produce milk I wanted to breastfeed she said from now on to stop massaging your boobies and then if you have a significant other girl boy whoever your partner is to have them suck on your nipples and so I was like okay that doesn't sound too bad so I went home and we did that almost every day, massage my boobs and I had him suck on my nipples. I'm sorry if that's too much for y'all. To be honest, within the next two weeks, I was already lactating and I was uh, leaking. And I was like, oh my gosh, that really worked. And so that really calmed me down a lot knowing that I had already produced milk before she even got here. So I definitely recommend to try that out to see if it works for you. Don't know if that'll work for everyone, but try it out. So my second tip to you is to use those resources. Use the woman there, use the moms, the mom community. I promise you they will be there, they will talk to you, and they want to help. So if you have questions about latching, on how to hold your baby, or on um, any questions use it that is probably the number one tip I can give you guys is use your community your mom your grandma's your friends any other mom I promise they're gonna want to help you oh <laughs> my mama I had a happy baby hi say hi this leads me to tip number three now that you're home nipple cream gel pads and nursing bras those three things were essential the first three weeks of breastfeeding and all those youtube videos i watched no one told me how painful breastfeeding was the first two weeks except for my sister my sister did tell me i'm talking painful i almost wanted to stop breastfeeding i just wanted to throw in the towel it hurts girls i am not gonna sugarcoat it it hurts but what got me through it was the nipple cream uh you can find you can basically find it anywhere amazon walmart target i will actually put some links down below 
I'll put the nimble cream every time I was done nursing, every time I was done pumping. And the gel pads, I would have it in the refrigerator so it can be super cool. And then once you're done with nursing or breastfeeding, you just place it on your nipples and it's the most like cooling, refreshing feeling. Um, and it was just amazing and it just helped me to breastfeed longer. And the third one, nursing bras, it makes life easier. Honestly, bras just make it a little bit more difficult. You get to take it off or unbuckle it. With the nursing bras, you just unlatch it and just stick out your titty. That's it. You can do it anywhere. It just makes being a mom a lot more easier. Oh, and another one I want to talk to is buying um, the pillows that hug your body. Oh my gosh my sister-in-law bought me one and i've used it every single day to this day it has been one of the best gifts i ever received um and i recommend it to every single mom for real like heaven sent i love that gift. all right so now that we talked about those four essentials that i loved gifts uh things that i used while breast my first two weeks of breastfeeding i do want to get into pumping pumping was something that stressed me out a lot i have a love hate relationship with pumping um <laughs> and so i just want to talk about it and tell you my experience i did research a lot i watched a lot of videos um i got so much information about how long you're supposed to pump how many times you're supposed to pump when you should pump like all these different things and i was just like man like i don't i am not prepared for that stuff so this is what i did i just pumped i pumped after i fed amari to finish um producing uh releasing my milk um i would pump whenever my boobs got hard whenever i needed relief myself and and i was pumping about three to four ounces for 30 minutes i would pump for 30 minutes straight at a time and maybe i was pumping my beginning my first two months i was pumping at least four times a day maybe a little bit more i was producing so much milk and then i started to learn more that the amount you pump is the amount your body will make again because you're letting your body know hey you used up this much milk i'm gonna give you that much milk again so ladies if you want to be a mom that makes a lot of milk to freeze it up do that sit for 30 minutes pumping three to four times a day i promise that helps my freezer is full of milk and um i plan on donating it my baby is actually picky she doesn't like reheated up milk she wants it fresh from the tetas okay so i do want to talk about when i got very low on milk supply um i didn't hear that anywhere and all the videos i watched no one warned me about how if you stop pumping or if you get lazy your milk supply will go away and that's exactly what happened to me um i got lazy i stopped pumping i was only releasing milk by the milk she was drinking and so uh one day i noticed my baby was crying and and it occurred to me i wonder if she's eating enough because i did stop pumping and i put my boobs back on the pump to see how much i was making and i wasn't I think I only made one ounce in 20 minutes and I got so worried because she had no formula on me so I had no food to back it up so I got so scared my baby wasn't eating so right then and there I just sat with the pump like the pump and I was there for 40 minutes I would stop take 30 minutes break start pumping again drinking a lot of water that's another tip I want to give make sure you are intaking a lot of liquid your body needs that liquid to help produce milk along with food i know when you have your baby this is a time you want to lose weight you want to get your body back um you want to get your figure back but just wait a little bit longer 
you need to take in those calories to help your body produce the milk it's for your baby and it will help her him or her in the long run so i guess i just want to say don't get lazy and don't do what i did um it was a big scare i'm not gonna lie i don't want moms to feel like that um so after that i started pumping again regularly and i uh, went to Target and bought lactose cookies. They basically help you produce some milk and it did help me my milk supply went up again, but it took a week um, But to avoid that Just don't get lazy keep your water supply up and keep eating. I promise it will help you for the long run I do want to talk about comparison comparison Is the devil moms please do not compare every mom's journey is different it is i promise you it's different don't compare yourself my journey isn't your journey your journey isn't her journey but what i can tell you is that moms are here to help you i'm making this video for the moms who are just like me who are chilled relaxed who didn't know anything who studied the last minute who just went with the flow and i'm just hoping this video helps one more mom don't compare focus on you and your baby and find what works best for y'all another thing i want to point out is that you want to learn learn your baby your baby um give you a schedule of when they want to eat like my daughter her first two months she was eating every three two to three hours on the dot um and she did that for weeks at a time and then she started going to cluster feeding i didn't know about cluster feeding until one of my friends told me about it how they will their pattern will break your baby will either eat a little bit at a time or she will eat more than regular but she will let you know that she's hungry by crying so that will break you out of your habit um so don't get so used to being on schedule because schedule is not gonna last very long so learn your baby learn what cue she gives you when she's hungry um always have a, a bottle ready or always be ready i guess because when cluster feeding comes around you never know when they're gonna want food yeah guys that is my tips for breastfeeding that was my journey that was what worked for me um i hope that i can at least help one mom so she won't stress out as much breastfeeding can be very um stressful but it doesn't have to be if i can do it i promise you you can do it uh, i did the minimum research don't worry about it your mom instinct will kick in i promise mine kicked in and i was like dang where did i learn all this from but it didn't you got it don't worry about it you're gonna be the best mom for you and your baby um that's all i have for you guys i hope that helped one more mama out there um i know i'm not as professional as the other ones but i'm trying to be honest with you what works for me and um or if you have questions ask me go ahead and message me comment down below or go to my instagram facebook dm me whatever you want to do i will be more than happy to help you uh i'm gonna go ahead and list the products down below if you like this video go ahead and give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel that will help me so much and i'll see you in the next video bye